I'm, I'm hoping that when my folk come back into town, it's at least some good news for you. When, when are they? Uh, when might they uh, reappear? I ain't too sure. I'd give it a five minutes, ten minutes, maybe. Shouldn't be too much longer, but we'll see about it. Right. Are you a tired, growing little boy? Am I a boy? Are you tired? Yeah. yeah, you don't. It's a, it's hard to time manage around these parts because everybody's doing different things, and then if he's got a lie, it's stressful. I'm gonna be honest, it's stressful. It I get stressed sometimes. Stressful. It is because sometimes you're sitting here stalling a bald man for 30 minutes, even though it was supposed to only take about 10. I didn't ask you to come and fetch me, lovey. You know what? Somebody else did, and that's why I showed up. Well, thank you. And I'll tell you that someone, oh, right, I get it now. Right. I didn't ask you to help me. I, I'm not helping you. Well, maybe you fucking should for once. Please hold. Boots. Sorry, Madame Boucher, I'd love to finish this conversation another time. It was really interesting. Hello, sunshine. Hello, sir. Would you like a cigarette? Oh, I've just smoked a big chunky one, thank you. Oh, yeah, all right, well, these aren't chunky ones. These, these thin ones, you know. Oh, right, yeah. They're shitty ones, I'll be honest with you. Mm, I like a chunky one. Yeah, I bet you do. No, no, not like that. Actually, no. Yes, he's a better way. Yeah, fair enough. Please. I mean, we're talking about cigarettes here, right? Yes, exactly. That's what I'm talking exactly. about. Exactly, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, too. I don't know where, know where your mind was going no, there. I wasn't going anywhere. That's good, that's good. You should keep your mind right here in Van Horn. What's going on here? Why, why are you here? I know we bought you here, but do you know why you're here? i tell you what. Because I was treated horrendously by ghastly individuals in Valentine. Ghastly individuals that need ghastly. to be Ghastly. Ghastly that need to be taught a lesson. Anyway, I came to Van Hall. Mm hmm And I found myself in a sticky situation with Dakota. Oh, like an actual sticky, sticky oh. situation. And she was very kind, and she let me stay here. Howdy. Good Hello, Sky. Howdy there, Archie. Good day. Anthony, good to see you again. Yes, I'm surprised. I'm surprised this is a right next person. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, we will uh, we'll be with you in due time. Uh, we will try to get with you as soon as possible. We've had a little bit of a situation come up, and it's not that I'd be alarmed about. But in the meantime, enjoy yourself, relax, Thank and you. uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. Yep. You make a really good host, Skunk. Thanks. I don't have any cheese in one. Fucking hell, it's 12 o'clock. That's a shame. It's 12 o'clock. Sorry, carry on. Where were you? Sticky situation. Sticky situation, and, um, I explained my situation to Dakota. And, um, for various reasons, she, um, she allowed me to stay for a few days and I made a decision or two that I might regret looking back mm -hmm. but um wait what decisions did you make um long story short I stole the gun I'm a law enforcement officer for Dakota I came back to Van Horn to give it to her as I came back some gentlemen from uh, Valentine were here. They threw me on their horse, took me to a uh, derelict house, beat me to an inch of my life, and took the gun. I then paid Pavel to take me to the uh, their saloon and get the gun back. 
and unbeknownst to me, a deal was already done between Valentine and Van Horn, and so I created a little bit of a mess. See, I see. All right, well, that's uh, that's quite a, it's quite a. What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? A turn of events. Yeah. It's quite a turn of events. A sticky turn of events. A very sticky situation you've got yourself into. You said you, this is over a, a law enforcement officer's gun? Yes, a, a Dakota asked me to uh, find some weapons for Van Horn, bring them back. And so I did, as a thank you. And uh, bringing this one rifle back as a, as a present, as it were, that's when it all kicked off with the uh, ghastly, ghastly men from Valentine. Mm -hmm. And they, they were very passionate about this lawman. Th they weren't passionate about the law. They they wanted that they stole the rifle from me. Right. They beat oh, okay. me and stole the rifle, yes. Right, okay, now I'm with you. Have you That's met, them? I drink Have you met them? Were the ones from Valentine? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're fucking... I hate them. Yeah, fucking hell, mate. Was it like, was it the, was it the bathhouse lot or the fucking milkers? The milkers, the milk. Ah, oh, God. And, you know, I, I was, I'll be honest with you, I was completely surprised that the Van Horn um, individuals, and Mr. Wallaby and so on and so forth, gave them the time of day. But that's not, that's by the by, nothing to do with me. That's just politics. Yes. I think I'll be honest with you, it's, you know. Give me five minutes with him, I'll, uh, I'll teach me a thing or two. Yeah, I bet you will. You'll you'll see to it, won't you? Mm. Is that like a one-on-one -on -one thing, or you reckon you can take them all on? I, well, I didn't do too bad when I went over there the other day and threatened them. What did you say to them? I shot the ceiling, sir, three times. <sighs> Fuck! Yeah. Fuck! Yes, sir. You're a man scorned. Yes, sir. And I threatened them. I threatened them that I might come back. But, um, you did not. Yes, I did. Sir, I'm a theatre man. This is not me. This is all oh, you. Oh right. And I think I'm oh. doing remarkably well in this world. Remarkably well. So you, you've come from a. Thi so why, why the change? You, you, you want a better life? You think there's money in this shit? No, I've been treated so, so damn badly since I've been here. Oh, you've been, Ryan, it's, been it's, trodden on. Yes, Dakota and Harry and Riley, they've treated me so well that this, mm -hmm. felt, like, that this felt like my home. Got you. Yeah, I know how that feels. You know, I've been on the run for a long time for my brother. You know, he was a deputy marshal here a long time ago. And uh, he would, uh, he would chase me constantly. I, I mean, a long time ago, you know, I was, I was just like, you know, not a theatre man, but, you know, I used to deliver parcels and packages and people would treat you like shit, you know, they'd spit on you and fucking shout names, saying, yeah. oh, look, it's the fucking parcel boy again. He's fucking late as usual. Yeah. And I was like, fuck these guys. Demoralizing. Exactly. You know, you can't take a... There's only so long you'll take a beating for. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> yeah, that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what's your name, sir, by the way? My name is Archie. You're right. Again, you're proving to me that the people of Van are wonderful, wonderful individuals. With hearts of gold. Well, I, I wouldn't say I have a heart of gold. I'll be honest, son. I've done some terrible things in my time. Mm. I like to think that the people who was on the other end deserved it, though, you know. Yeah. It, it puts me back in that situation. And this is what you've got to do, Anthony, is... You know, every time you're going to do something, you're going to take a gun from somebody, you got to remember all those fucking times people treated you like shit. That's what really spurs me on. That's what gets me. Yes, sir. It gets me going. Yes. 
You want a drink or something? You want a stew? I'll go and grab you one. Thank you, sir. That would, um, I, um, the stew would be lovely. The stew All would be right. very kind. All right, I'll be back in a moment. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, not at all. Not at all. Let me give him this stew. Thank okay. You, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very kind. What was that? What did you mean? Each time that? we've been out camping, I gave you whiskey. That doesn't mean I want to fucking take you with your help. Yeah, exactly. You know, you just go and help me out. No, no, no. If you do doing something that you don't like and you want me to give you whiskey, I'll do it. You, you two, uh, it? take him inside and. Ah, right. well. right, uh, we're here again, here. aren't we? Step through. Yes. This is where I crash. We're going downstairs. Yeah, it's a long day at this point, isn't it? Either. So what you been doing in the last hour or two? Um, me, sir. But no, I was talking to the the guy. No, yeah, you. What the fuck? Um, I went to Saint Denis and um. Ooh, big city, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did do anything fun there? Have any drink? Um. Uh, are we not, are we really. going all the way in? Oh, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. Go and I take a seat on the to bench. Drink today. Oh. Like, if you Me. want, you can have a seat in the stool. Everyone's just got to sort of pull their pants up. There's a lot going on, okay? So, did you have any drinks in St. Denis? I'll be honest with you. I, am. Um... Why are you so quiet, Jesus? Oh, I have nerves, I suppose. Um, I'll be honest. nervous way. I think it's the last time I was in this room a machete was pulled out in front of me. Oh, there's, there's machetes in this room all the time. You don't get to worry. handsome maybe not <clears throat> yes. What? Yes? What, Dakota? You're just speaking. What do you mean? You're just speaking. Oh, yeah, just say that type of shit. And expect me to not think. Okay. Is he saying something? Or is I, that going I, crazy? What's going on? No, I'm not saying anything. You guys, hold your fucking horses. Slow down. We ain't in no rush, are we? Are we? That's true, Pete. No rush, son. What's going on?
Anthony. Yes, sir. We've been hearing a lot of things about you. About you and uh, Van Horn. Have you? Yeah, apparently you run the place. I what? Apparently you run the place, Anthony. And who said that? You did. No, I didn't. Not once have I said that. Not once. Not once have you ever acted and uh, used us as your defense. Because we know as hell you have come back here. Yes, I am. Um, one thing I might have been guilty of was some um, feeling welcomed here and supported. Hmm. I'm not a fool enough to say, why would I say that? Unless there is someone or some people in the crossing looking to cause mischief elsewhere. Oh, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't be one of those people, would you? Not with you. Because mischief. Not with you, and not with any of you. Uh, no. What, what makes us so important? As I say, I've spent a number of weeks now in the crossing, and the people, for instance, in Valentine, who I met, I thought were hideous, ghastly individuals that I wanted out. And they, uh, they created rumors about me. Said I was a cat fiddler. Said I went around fiddling with kittens. Haven't touched a kitten in my life. Well, I have, but not in a bad way. In a good way. And so, I had nowhere to go. I have one for you. I wish I had some. Anyway, um... I just picked some up. Can you just shut the fuck up? What, what they were insinuating was I was... Uh, you know you know where I'm going with this. And I... I, I uh, someone drew a gun or... Uh, anyway, long story short, I came to Van Horn. No, 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 no. Don't cut the story short. The story might save your life. Okay, well, I walked into the saloon in, in Valentine. And uh, I was wearing a... A tall black hat. And as you do? As I say, I do. Absolutely, that's what I do. And the whole bar turned on me. The whole bar turned on one man. Innocent man, not doing anything wrong. Just going about his life. And then they then go to the Milky Saloon. And I'll be honest with you, I'm opening my heart now. I fell in love with a 19-year-old boy. Nothing wrong with that. Young man. I did a dance. You don't try and call this place home if you're innocent. I'm just telling you what I did, and I and Rob. Oh, I, I, yeah, you you telling me what you did, but uh, I think you're telling me the half of it. Maybe not even that. Well, I don't know what you've been told, sir. I can only tell you what happened. I, I haven't been told much. Enlighten me. Let me know you. So then, um, I, my experience of Rub and Clint in the uh, saloon, I immediately instinctively thought they were snakes. I thought I don't want to be anywhere near you. Anywhere near you, especially that Rub character. Doesn't know his bottom from his arsehole. So then I come to Van Horn, and I was immediately welcome, and I wanted to help the uh, town here, and I went off finding weapons for the town. And I found a wonderful, wonderful rifle from a law enforcement officer in Saint Denis, and I immediately brought it back here and as, a, as, an off, as a thank you to as Van Horn. 
As a what? As a thank you. No, no, no. You, you were about to say uh, offering. What do you? As an offering. Hmm. Yeah. A tribute. I, I was made to feel welcome. I was. It was a thank you. It was. It was a, so I come back into Van Horn. I ride in mm. on in my horse. Ride in on my horse. And Rob and Clint are outside the uh, saloon, waiting for me. I get off the horse. I say, "Get out of town." That's because I felt threatened. I was on the back foot. They hog tie me, put me on the horse, take me to a derelict house, beat me for the within an inch of my life, steal the rifle that I was going to give to Van Horn. I was a little bit, I don't know if you know the word, the phrase, I was a little bit miffed, to be honest with you. A little bit, a bit miffed. miffed. Mm. Yeah, miffed. Fucked off. I know the feeling. And I, if I'm guilty of one thing, sir, it's uh, my d the decision I made to go back over to the Milky Saloon and uh, try and get the rifle back for Van Horn. I wasn't aware that a deal had already been done. That I wasn't aware of, sir. Looking back Ooh. now, I regret that. Sorry, is it... Well, well, and what deal are you talking about? The one with me and Maggie? That you were there? I witnessed? was there, sir, but I didn't know. I went, no rifles were mentioned in that while I was there for the No, there was minutes. no rifles mentioned. You're right. Thank you. Why are you here? Why am I here? Why, yeah. Why, Why are you here? Why have you chosen Van Horn? I couldn't, I couldn't say it any more times, really. I was welcomed here by, by the good people. Shanta, I invited Riley. you here. Yes. And you chose to stay. Yes. Even though you have been kicked out, you've had, uh, well, for lack of a better term, the shit kicked out of you. But yet you still come back. I suppose I feel like a bit of an outsider and, uh, What makes you feel like Van Horn is really your home? And why do you think that you can use our name to protect yourself? Because I I see good things happening here, sir. So you did use our name to protect yourself? Maybe I did if I was worried or frightened. And I thought the people that I've met with Van Horn... That's enough for me, Archie. Yeah. Do all this piece of shit. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Anthony, you remember what I was telling you about? You? I was telling you earlier. Yes, sir. I was telling you that every time I had to deal with a situation, I looked at those that trod me down, yes, and that I wasn't afraid to do the shit that needed to be done. Stand the fuck up, soldier. Come here. Look at it in my eyes. Look at it in my eyes and beg for forgiveness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. For what I meant. I'm sorry for upsetting people here, and I'm sorry for coming back into Van Horn. And, uh, and I'm also sorry to my, to my mother. We Apology not, not accepted. We sure as hell ain't your salvation. 
Oh my. Ah, there we go. He was banned on Jesus. 